Warsaw's impressive memorial reminds the world of the massacre of the 60,000 Jews of this city in the World War. On the site of the tragic ghetto was commemorated the 20th anniversary of the uprising of the Polish Jews. Men of the Royal Northumberland Fusiliers receive the red and white roses which they alone are entitled to wear in their caps in honour of St George. It's a custom which dates back to the 18th century. Quite a feather in their caps. As a matter of fact, they used to wear a feather. The day of the patron saint of England, St George's Day in Cardo, was observed with an impressive parade. It's just one gay whirl. As soon as I put my foot in Piccadilly this morning, the wedding! How sweet she looked. That young Duke of York has done well for himself and for Britain. Indeed, they even managed to get the Wembley exhibition finished in time for the King to ride through in state and perform the official opening ceremony. And that was a demonstration of solidarity that all Britain rejoiced to see. Even the sun worshippers. With the world deep in the economic doldrums, it must have been good to put on such a brave show. You'd never know it, but this is one of the Land Rovers that has proved its worth by conquering conditions calculated to cause car catastrophes. Well, I feel that uh, it is a very impressive ceremony. Um, I know perhaps some people would think that uh, it is rather anachronistic and out of place in, uh, in this world, which is perhaps uh, somewhat cynical. But um, I think it, it can mean quite a lot if, if one goes about it in the right way. Mm -hmm. 